Well, factoring polynomials, very important concept, okay? And so let's start with the first one, x squared plus 4x plus 3, okay? I'm going to give you a systematic way to solve these, and I'm going to go one, you know, explain each one of these, and hopefully by the end of these, you notice the pattern. Well, the first thing you need to note is that in front of each of these terms, there is a number, well, in front of each of the x's. Uh, first, notice that this goes from x squared, x to the first power, and x to the zero power. But anything to the zero power is one. So x to the zero power is one, and three times one is just three. It's the identity property of multiplication. Uh, but here, anything to the first power is just the thing without the power. So that's why we write for x. So x squared plus four x plus three has a in front of the x, okay? So here, one, so that's a is one, okay? b is 4, it's the number in front of x, and c is 3, it's the constant, okay? Now remember the a, b, and c, because we're going to learn a method, which I call the ac method. According to the ac method, we need to find two numbers that multiply to give a times c, which in this case is, ac in this case is 3, 3 times 1 is 3, and b is 4, okay? So step 1, is to find this information. What is AC and what is B? And then step two is we're looking for two numbers, okay? So two factors of AC, two factors of A times C that add to give B, okay? So we need to find two numbers that multiply to give uh, three and add to give four. Well, that's pretty that's straightforward in this case. Three times one is three, three plus one is four. So we come back, and because a is 1, this is very important, because a is 1, okay, part of what we can do is we can just make two parentheses, and in the first one we write x plus 3, and the second one we write x plus 1. We're actually done. That's it. We factored x squared plus 4x minus 3, and these are the factors of that polynomial. If you are to distribute, okay, or multiply this out, you will get x squared plus 4x plus 3. So that's example 1. Now let's look at the second example. x squared plus x minus 72. So remember the steps. Step 1. Well, first, you know that a is 1 in this case, too. But you, you go ahead and multiply. What's 1 times negative 72? It's negative 72. So we're looking for two things that multiply to give negative 72 and add to give positive 1. And so again, it's, it's good to have a good understanding of numbers. If you understand that, you know that 9, okay, 9 times 8 is 72. Negative 9 times 8 is, is negative 72. And 9 times negative 8 is also negative 72. But if we add, okay, what is negative 9 plus 8? Well, that's negative 1. What is 9 plus negative 8? That's 1. So you know that you will just have x plus 9, x minus 8. So those are two quick examples when a is equal to 1, how you would go about solving um, with, with uh, trinomials. This is called a trinomial. So keep practicing, keep using those principles. I will add more videos on factory polynomials. I'll stop there for these first two.